Hello. In this tutorial I'm going to talk about Direct3D and OpenGL. Maybe you hear about these before, especially if you like video games. But what is Direct3D and OpenGL? Well, those are APIs. Application Programming Interface. In other words, a language for computers. It is the way how a program like 3D Studio Max, a video game or other multimedia application, sends instructions to your computer hardware. Instructions for open a window, draw an image, show an object, and so on. This is the way how your program can work on different computers independent of the hardware vendor. Direct3D is part of DirectX, which are a bigger group of APIs. In this group Direct3D is the part what handle the 3D graphics, was developed by Microsoft and is used to handle the 3D graphics in Windows and as different versions, like XP, Vista and 7. It's used to, in the video game console of Microsoft Xbox and Xbox 360. Exists different versions of DirectX, the latest versions with version 9A, 9B and 9C. That works in Windows XP and Vista. The version 10 and 10.1 that works in Vista, and the most recent the 11 what works in Windows 7. To install a recent version of DirectX is not only necessary to count with the appropriate operative system, but also the hardware must support the version you want. By the other hand is OpenGL. OpenGL means Open Graphics Library. Was developed by Silicon Graphics and is used to handle the 3D graphics in several platforms, like Mac OS, Linux, Unix. PlayStation. And even Windows can use it. This APIs, this languages, are used for different types of programs, to make the hardware works. Programs like video games. CAD programs like. AutoCAD. Virtual reality programs. Scientific visualizations. Simulations. And others. With this languages are expressed the instructions created by the program to make the hardware build the 3D images. In a simple way, the process starts with the user, using the computer to create the information that composes the scene, draw the user interface of 3D Studio Max, that makes it really easy and automatically creates the data of the scene. I'm talking about vertex, edges, faces, polygons, textures, materials, effects, and so on. For more information check my other tutorials at www.macrotutorials.com. So, the information about the scene is expressed in a specific language DirectX or OpenGL. This language contains computer code to create the 3D images. This code is interpreted by the hardware in your computer. And the hardware creates the graphics. The process of creating graphics is called render or renderization. The process of renderization is a process what use complex calculations by the computer hardware. And this makes necessary a powerful computer. Exist two types of render. The first one is in real time. This is the 3D Studio Max use and each viewport to show the scene and the objects on it. It is similar to the real time renderization in video games. This renderization doesn't have a great quality, but if the image was very detailed, the computer would take a long time to perform the calculations necessary to display the image. The second way of renderization is the one what is it with much more quality of the image and usually takes a long time, but the results are pretty good. Like in this scene, the real-time renderization used Direct3D of DirectX, and shows us in the viewports a semi-transparent ball over a chess floor, illuminated with a kind of orange light. When we rotate around the scene, this is more easy to note and we can see the light reflection and that brightens over the surface of the ball. But we don't see the shadow of the sphere over the floor. In this scene, the ball have reflections and refractions and these do not appear on the surface of the ball. So to visualize the scene clear and with more quality. We use the rendered process or renderization, but this will do it works in real time. Will take longer. As I say before will depend of the complexity of the scene and the capabilities of your computer. This scene looks simpler, but the effects of reflection and refraction, the quality of lights and shadows, increases the complexity. But the difference between the real time renderization at left of the screen and the quality renderization at the right of the screen is big. In the quality renderization at the right, you can watch all the details in the scene, like the shadows, the reflections, refractions and the light brightness in the surface of the ball, the different intensities of the light in the scene, etc. But well, which is the appropriate API to choose for the graphics driver in 3D Studio Max? The answer will depends of your computer hardware and software. If you use an operative system different to Windows, you have to use OpenGL, because Direct3D is exclusive for Windows. 
If you use Windows you can use OpenGL, but the most probably it's what your video graphics card is optimized for DirectX even when OpenGL is more compatible with many video cards. But independent of the hardware, choosing Direct 3D with as part of DirectX, you see things like transparency and other effects in real time without rendering. But, the performance depends of your video card and if this is optimized for Direct the 10th or OpenGL. In the screen we see the same scene, the same file. The difference between the one on the left and the one on the right is what are using different FPS. The left one is using Direct 3D, and is possible see truck the ball, so this shows transparency in real time. The one at the right is using OpenGL, and this doesn't show the transparency in real time, but the results are pretty similar to the results using Direct 3D and the quality renderization. In the next tutorial I will show you how to change the graphics driver and how to select between Direct 3D, OpenGL or software and 3D Studio Max.